Today, I'd like to show you how easy the new EasyLine time switches can be programmed by an Android smartphone. What do you need? Of course, one of our digital timers of the new EasyLine, the free Hugo Müller Android app Safe and Carry from the Google Play Store, and an NFC capable Android smartphone. The communication between smartphone and the time switch works as already mentioned with NFC. NFC stands for Near Field Communication. The advantage of this feature is the fact that you don't need any additional hardware like a data key or a programming adapter. Your smartphone is the only tool you need. The time switch and your smartphone communicate in a direct way. Well, how does the whole thing work? I'd like to demonstrate it by an example of an easy line Astro Timer with daily program. We program a very typical application. You switch on at sunset in the evening with Astro on. You switch off in the night with night off for energy savings. Then we switch on in the morning with night on. And at the end we switch off at sunrise in the morning with Astro off. We start the Hugo Müller app safe and carry on the smartphone. Okay, that can take some seconds. Then on the start screen, please select NFC. NFC stands for the way of programming the new easy line devices. At this level, we can decide if we want to create a new program, open an already saved and created program, <clears throat> or whether we want to read the program of the time switch into the app. For our example, we are now creating a new program. To do this, I click on New. Now I have to enter the project name. For our example, I take the name Test. And the next step, I have to select the time switch. The application assists me with a pre selection of the different time switch types. However, I can also display all devices. In our case, I want to program an Astro Timer and for this I select Astro Timer in the pre-selection and confirm it with OK. The time switch I like to program is the Müller SC1813 Easy. I select the desired type and confirm it with OK. Now I can program the timer. I can set an offset to the Astro switching times. I can activate or deactivate these switching times. And as announced, I can quick and easy program a night off time for energy savings. To do this, I activate night off and if required, night on and set this is the desired time. On the bottom of the application, I can set my location define the daylight saving time rules and decide whether I would like to transfer the data and the time of my smartphone to the time switch. If I don't want to pass the basic settings to my time switch, I simply clear the checkboxes. In our case, I'd like to transfer it. The time switch requires the current location to calculate the correct astro switching times. This location is also required during the initial operation directly on the time switch. But also with the app, I can pass the location information. Within the time switch and with the application, it is possible to define the location by country selection and zip code, or to enter the location by coordinates. The special feature, which is only available within the app, is to calculate the coordinates for the current location using the smartphone GPS. Concerning the initial operation, I can do this directly on a device or simply via app and smartphone. Now I set the location simply by country selection and zip code. Well, how do I send the program from my smartphone to the time switch? 
First, make sure that NFC is activated in your smartphone. And as a hint, it is helpful to check one time where approximately the NFC antenna is installed to the smartphone. If you know the position of the NFC antenna, the transfer is very fast. In my smartphone, the NFC antenna is near to the camera. So let's move on. As you can see on the time switch, at the moment there are no night switching times are programmed. Now I bring the new program from the smartphone to my timer. For this I press the send button in the app and just hold the smartphone over my timer. Please don't move around. It is enough that the smartphone is about one centimeter above the timer. You can also put the phone directly on the timer. As you can see, the program is now on a timer. It's done. You see, the programming via smartphone is very simple. Thank you very much for your attention.